Okie dokie. First thing to recognize for this problem is compounded continuously. Anytime you see the word continuous, we want to use, did I spell that right? Oh, I hope so. Continuous or continuously, compounded continuously, continuously, uh, continuous exponential decay, anything like that, we want to use A equals PE to the RT. All right, uh, so what we're gonna do is use the information here to set up two equations. What they're giving us are basically two ordered pairs. It's almost like a T and a corresponding A value twice. So the first one I will use is actually the higher values, and we'll talk about why. So our A value is 2485.95, and we'll you know plug it into this equation with everything we know, which is not much. P times E to the R times T, we do know the T value that corresponds to this A value is 16. So this is the first equation. We set up the second equation, which is 1878.84, the amount of the investment at time eight or eight years. Uh, so now the reason I did the bigger values on top, smaller values on the bottom, is because now what we're gonna do is divide these two equations by one another. So what that looks like is dividing the left sides, the dollar amounts here, by one another, and dividing these values by one another, these terms. When we divide the right terms here, let's talk about what cancels out or simplifies. We have P over P, those will cancel. We have E to the 16R over E to the 8R. We can use the subtraction rule, which says uh, when we're dividing same bases by different exponents, we subtract their exponents, leaving us with just e to the 8r on the right side. And then on the left side, we'll have to go ahead and divide these two numbers. So let's give it a shot. 2485.95 divided by 1878.84. 1878.84. 0.84 and it didn't work all right let's see 1878.84 and we get 1.323 1 1.323 equals e to the 8r in order to eliminate the e and bring the 8r down we take the ln the natural log of both sides eliminating ln and e leaving us with 8r equals this ln term so we get ln of 1.323. And then to solve for r, we divide by 8. So we'll try this in Desmos. I may just try to tack on an ln in front of this if I can manage that. Yep. All right. Divided by, what was it, 8? Hopefully. Yep. So uh, we get an r value of 0 0.035. Point zero three five is our rate. So the question is, how do we use this? They say, how much did your parents put into the certificate at birth? So what that means is, what is our initial investment? In other words, what is our P value? What we use is this R value, and we plug it into one of these first two equations that we set up. I'll just plug it into this smaller valued one. So 1878. 0.84 is equal to P E to the R, which we now know as 0 0.035 times 8. E to the 0 0.035 times 8 is just a number. So if we can find this number and then divide by it on both sides, we can solve for P. So what I may do is just show that here. So 1878.84 divided by E to the 0 0.035 times 8 is equal to p. So we've divided by that e term on both sides to get p by itself. I will try to plug this into Desmos all at once. So 1878, what was it, 0.84? Yeah. 0.84 divided by e, e to the 0 0.035 times 8. And we get... 1419.996, so I'm going to round that up to 1420. P, the initial deposit, the initial amount is 1420. We break out the eraser, and we see D 
is our answer.